Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, and we have been hearing about all of these major filmmakers going over to Netflix, from Martin Scorsese and Alfonso Cuaron to Steven Soderbergh. But could Quentin Tarantino actually join them in a Netflix deal? We have some information on that, but before we get into it, go down and hit subscribe and turn on your notifications because we post videos like this all the time and we don't want you to miss a single one of them. There has been a lot of talk lately about Quentin Tarantino's future career and whether or not he's actually going to wrap it up after his 10th film. In fact, he joined the Real Blend podcast to discuss specifically what his 10th film might be and whether it could be a Star Trek film, and you can listen to that entire interview in the link down below. But we're not talking about that interview today. We're specifically getting into a separate interview I had with Quentin Tarantino's longtime cinematographer, Robert Richardson. So while we were talking about that, we discussed specifically Tarantino's future and whether he really would retire after his 10th film. Richardson doesn't actually believe that Tarantino is going to be able to walk away in the grand sense of retiring. And in fact, he brought up the idea of a potential partnership between Quentin Tarantino and Netflix. Check out that portion of our interview right now. I do believe he'll make number 10, but I think that following number 10, he may not want to make films the way he's making films, but he may want to create a a different, different medium. For example, let us just say the possibility that Quentin Tarantino decides to shoot a film with Netflix. That Netflix film, which will be a series, could be 10 hours long, could be 15 hours long. Right. But it's Quentin Tarantino right. telling a story. I think that's highly possible. I think theater's highly possible. And I think writing books is highly possible. I don't think it's the end of Quentin with moving images. I just think it's he, it will probably move him away from making films beyond the next one, which he says is his last. That doesn't include whether or not he makes Star Trek or not. It is weird to hear Quentin Tarantino's name associated with Netflix because he's such a proponent of having films in theaters, but there's so many directors who are taking their work over to the streaming giant because of the freedom that it allows them to explore a lot of different projects. Take Martin Scorsese, for instance, and The Irishman. All of the work that he needed to do to digitally de-age major Hollywood stars like Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci meant that Scorsese could only do that at Netflix. And who's to say that Tarantino won't run into a long form story that he wants to tell that fits the model that Netflix allows certain storytellers to have. I'll admit that I was totally surprised when Robert Richardson brought up the idea of a collaboration between Tarantino and Netflix, but the way that he laid it out, I don't think it's that far-fetched. What do you guys think? Should Tarantino bring his act over to Netflix, or do you only want to see his stuff in theaters? Head down to the comment section and tell us where you fall on this whole debate. And while you're down there, of course, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, it'll allow you to keep up to date with everything that we're doing here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page.